everyone, I'm Adrienne Everhart, your feminine energy dating and relationship coach. And today I'm gonna talk about feeling insecure and scared when you're in a relationship or even in a dating situation. What it feels like to be insecure, scared, uncertain, feeling like there is a lot of urgency to clear the air, make sure everything's okay between you and your man. I'm gonna share with you five tips about how to overcome that and embrace your feminine energy and actually get powerful from it instead of feeling defeated, nervous, anxious, and worried. The first thing I wanna share with you is that feeling anxious or worried or insecure in a relationship is a perfectly okay thing to be feeling. Now, I'm not saying that it's okay to feel these things in a relationship ongoing and that they are really becoming almost like the normal feelings that you have in a relationship. But I wanna emphasize that what you're feeling is absolutely a normal human emotion. And it's a good indicator that something in the relationship is wrong. It can also be an indicator that some old hurts, some old pains that aren't exactly healed, or you're still feeling wounded from your past, there's a little bit of work you need to do there with making your inner wounded girl feel more comfortable in what may be otherwise a very loving relationship with a man. In my I Heart Love Academy group online, I had a couple of girls come up recently and they said, you know, I'm feeling so nervous and I'm feeling so anxious about my relationship with my guy. And I know I shouldn't, I know I shouldn't be. And that's just not true. Whatever you're feeling is perfectly okay. I want you to just give yourself the okay and give yourself comfort during this time. The last thing we wanna do is make you feel like there's something wrong with you, that there's some other reason or something else that you need to be doing other than just caring for yourself and nurturing yourself in a really positive way during this time. That is one of the most powerful things you can do to get into your feminine energy is not shut yourself down, isolate yourself, and assume that there is something wrong with you. By far, there is not. The second thing I suggest doing in this situation is reclaiming yourself, reclaiming your identity in yourself. If you are in a situation where you're just feeling nervous, there's usually a little bit of laser focus going on. There's a little bit of obsession, maybe spending a little too much time thinking about what's going on and trying to figure out, trying to solve it. So we wanna get you back into your body because remember, this is what feminine energy is all about. It's about you being back inside your body and being aware of what you're feeling so you can process your emotions. It's when we get trapped up in the mind of masculine energy thinking that we're going round and round in circles and we can't sleep, we can't eat, and we're just feeling miserable. So I want you to figure out ways to reclaim yourself. Now here are some things that have worked for me and that have worked for my clients. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to change up your routine a little bit. If you always drive home a certain way, I want you to drive home a different way. If you always go to yoga at six o'clock, I want you to try a morning class instead. I want you to begin to see areas you can shift up your routine so you can reawaken your body to possibility and change. Another thing that I like to do is I really embrace ending my shower with a lot of cool and cold water. I think it helps my skin and it surrounds me with positively charged ions and it makes your hair look really glossy and beautiful. But more than that, there's a certain amount of resiliency that it gives you in that moment. Now, I don't know all the psychology behind that, but I do know if you were to Google it, you might find a lot of information about just switching up the temperature in your shower. Now is also the time that I want you to consider taking a quick little trip. It could even be a day trip to another city to go to a shopping mall and have a slice of cheesecake at somewhere new. It could be anything like this. A short trip I think would be better because if you're feeling lost, nervous, and anxious, a lot of times getting further away from home really isn't the thing you want to be doing right now. You want to make sure that you can have a little bit of distance to just reevaluate yourself, rediscover yourself, and see what it feels like to be in your skin again as a woman on her own. So take a little trip to the mall in another city or a little weekend trip with some girlfriends and just get out, get away from the guy and get your mind off of him and begin to reclaim yourself. Now the last thing in this step number two 
which is reclaiming yourself, is to make sure you surround yourself with your tribe. Ladies, so often we go into isolation, which is masculine energy. That is what men do. Men go to the cave. They isolate themselves. You know, that's how they figure something out. So often women contact me and they say, well, I do want to go back and date, but I'm not ready. I need to stay at home and heal myself. And I'm always dumbfounded by this. I completely get the notion of staying home and feeling safe and comforted. But what about learning? What are you really learning by being home alone? And I believe that the man that is in front of you or whatever comes in front of you as a challenge, as a trigger, that is your teacher right now. That's your teacher and you need to learn whatever you can from this person, even if it's just one quick coffee date. So aside from dating and really getting back out in the world, isolation is a big no-no. I don't want you to isolate yourself. I want you to find your tribe. Find your tribe. Find a group of girlfriends who get you. Find someone of any age, male or female, who really gets you and that you can talk to freely and be yourself and kind of reclaim your identity. Now there are some wonderful services online even that have online therapy sessions where even something like that can really reconnect you to who you are and there are so many affordable options out there right now. So find a way to reconnect with your tribe, get in touch with some girlfriends, some people you love who really support you, and don't talk to them so much about the relationship and focus on that, but instead focus on just spending time with them and being with them and reclaiming and identifying who you are as a feminine energy woman. My next tip here is number three, I want you to allow yourself with love to feel whatever it is you're feeling. This is where we're going to go back to no judgment of the self. We're not going to judge ourselves and say we shouldn't be feeling this way. We're not going to lock ourselves up from the rest of the world because we're feeling a certain way. I want you to be able to process what you're feeling in a really healthy way so that your feminine energy can really expand and grow and feel wonderful inside of you. So what does this mean? It means we're not running from how we feel. We're going to embrace how we feel. It's when you run from a feeling. It's when you have a thought. Remember that comes first. There's usually a circumstance, then you have a thought, and then you have a feeling from that thought. And that's when we can shut down. The action is then to shut down. But instead, I want you to find what you're feeling. It may be a feeling of no one's ever going to love me again. I'm never going to find another partner. I'm going to be alone the rest of my life. Whatever it is, just say, I love the part of me that is feeling she's always going to be alone. And just sit with it for a second and love that little part of you that is giving you such terrible news, <laughs> such a terrible prediction. And just love her and just see if it doesn't dissipate. And the same goes if you're having any other sort of dark thought. I love the part of me that just wants to pack my bags and run away. I love the part that just wants to scream and shout right now. I love the part of me that just wants to get up from my desk and walk out of work right now. Love those parts of you and see if Maybe some comfort from you is needed. And usually when you embrace and love that part of you that wants to run or be scared or cry, usually that voice will also pop up and say, well, you know, here's what I really need. I really wanted to go see my mom this weekend, or I really wanted to, you know, treat myself to something, or I really wanted to cook a nice comfort home cooked meal for myself. That voice will begin to speak to you in ways that you can heal your life that is your feminine energy speaking to you. Listen to it. It's there to help you. So number four, if you're feeling anxious and scared, something's not right. Something's not right and something's wrong. And this is where I want you to look at your life and really look at the situation. I'll give you another example that I have over at iHeart Love Academy. Recently, I had a client talking about how she was just so nervous, so anxious. Every day she's waiting to hear from her guy on her cell phone and get a message and hear from him and connect with him and just in such a panic and anxious, urgent place to connect with him. And uh, again, she felt like she should never be feeling this way. But I said to her, I said, well, tell me a little bit about what's going on. And lo and behold, they have been dating for three years. They've broken up several times, but there's no marriage on the table. 
There's no marriage on the table. So this is often a wiser part of you speaking, giving you a big shake and saying, something is not right here. So I want you to be aware that when you're feeling anxious or anxiety or any sort of other mood, scared, fearful about the situation, you're feeling that urgency, I want you to wake up to what is really wrong here. And by wrong, I mean, you don't like it. You don't like what's happening. I had another client uh, say, you know, I love my guy so much, but he's cheated on me in the past. I've caught him cheating and I think he's cheating again, but I'm too scared to ask him. And so all I do is follow him around all day to see if he's cheating on me. What type of life is she having? This is a horrible existence for this beautiful, powerful dynamite woman. So when you get back into your feminine energy, you wake up to what is going wrong, what it is that you don't like. That's what that anxiety is telling you. That's what that fear and anxiety is telling you is to wake up, something ain't right. Now, last tip, how do we fix it? How do you go about fixing this? Well, you have lots of options once you're back into your feminine energy and you're grounded because one of the things that we've done now is we've realigned you with a very powerful, alluring, and attractive energy. It's not an energy of urgency. I have to know right now. I have to have all the answers in front of me. You're not in a panic. You're in a nice, calm, slow, intelligent, feminine energy place. You know your boundaries. You know what you're gonna put up with and what you're not gonna put up with. You can make much better decisions for yourself. You can speak in a much better way and communicate to your man so he can hear you. Now let's talk a little bit about speaking to the man. Now I have a very popular book called 500 Ways to Talk to a Man. It is full of scripts, phrases, texts, messages, and all sorts of way to dig down inside of your body and find what it is you're really feeling so you can communicate clearly with the man in your feminine energy. It's a great little book to keep on your phone or your tablet or your computer. You can even use in the Adobe PDF reader, there's a little magnifier tool and you can search out certain terms you want to learn about. So at the end of the day, what needs to happen here is you need to be able to come to the man and say, I am feeling so scared. I'm feeling so worried every day that there's something big wrong in this relationship or whatever it may be. And then ask him, I'm curious how you feel or say, is there anything I should know? And then after you ask, one of those questions, I want you to sit there and just look at him and unzip your heart to him. Unzip your heart to him, look at him and wait for the answer. So often it is clarity. Clarity is the thing we're afraid to get because then we'll know. But This is when you want to listen to a man. When a man tells you, I can't be with you. I love you. I think you're amazing. You deserve someone so much better than me. I just don't want to be in a relationship. I just can't do this. That's when you listen. Your boy is going to say, hey, can't we fix this? I'm in a huge panic. Can't we fix this right now? And I want you to accept his no if he does deliver some news or a feeling or a message that you don't want, that you're not ready to accept. Go ahead and accept it from him for the time being. Tell him I feel very sad hearing this, whatever it may be, yet I accept your no. Now, we're opening a whole big can of worms here because there are so many variables. There are so many potential outcomes. And this is one of the reasons I tell everyone, while you're learning about feminine energy, check out my book, 500 Ways to Talk to a Man. I've given you a couple of good tips here and some ways to really get grounded in your feminine energy again so you can feel confident and poised and calm in your body. And remember, if you don't love all parts of you, no man can either. So I want you to really get used to loving yourself no matter how you show up. All right, everyone, I hope this video has been helpful for you. I love to read your comments in the comments section. Please give this video a thumbs up and please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my live updates or future videos. I look forward to hearing from you soon and much love to you. Bye-bye.